I now own six standing desks. I don't even know how or why I have this many, but one thing that I've learned that is true for all standing desks is that they all have the same issue. They are not stable for people over five foot eight to five foot nine. If you put your desk in that height and you begin to push it forward and back, you're gonna notice that there's quite a bit of rocking. And contrary to common sense, I've realized that the more weight you put on a desk, the less stable it becomes. It's kind of weird. I thought that, you know, the more weight you have, the more sturdy it would be. It's not the case. When I go to actually move the desk, I think it's a lot more unstable because once this 90 additional pounds gets moving, uh, it takes a lot of effort to get it to stop. Side to side wobble on every standing desk is even worse at those heights. Now, this isn't true for all standing desks, but for many of the cheaper standing desks especially, they're also not great for people that are shorter than five foot five because many of them don't go low enough to even be able to use as a sitting desk. Because if you're short and you want your feet to be on the ground then your chair needs to be low, but the standing desk will not be able to get that low and so you'll find yourself either going like this or having to raise the chair up, bringing your feet off of the floor. Now, this gets even more confusing because you would think that many of the popular standing desks out there range in that $400 to $700 price range, right? Like Autonomous, Uplift, Fully Jarvis, like all those things. And you think like for that price, I'm getting a solid standing desk. But that's not the case because they all suffer from the same thing. At that five foot eight, five foot nine range, they begin to rock back and forth this way. Sideways, it doesn't really matter. Like who's, who's gonna be using their desk like this, right? Who's gonna be rocking this way? Nobody. But I imagine if you're working at your desk, you are gonna be pushing against it like this and you're gonna be pushing forward and it's gonna be rocking quite a bit. Your monitor, if it's got on stand especially, it'll wobble even more. If you got cups of water, it'll spill. If you got kids running around, they hit it all those kinds of things, right? The forward and back matters to me infinitely more than the side to side. But again, all those in that four or $700 price range, they all suffer from really unstable back and forth. If you don't believe me, later on in this video, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna level out all these desks that I have in the studio. I only have three here, but I leveled all of them out and you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about, okay? But that's a little later. You can use the timestamps if you wanna skip to that. You would think that, okay, there are standing desks that are much more expensive. And you would think that, okay, if I spend more money, then I should be getting a more stable desk, right? And that unfortunately is not the case because case in point, the Secret Lab desk. And by the way, I have nothing against Secret Lab, but unfortunately their standing desk is one of the most unstable standing desks out there. That thing at five foot eight, five foot nine is really bad. And then the higher you get, especially at max height, it is, it is really, really pretty bad when it comes to stability. This is why I love these standing desks so much. This is called the Apex Pro, Pro Apex Pro from a company called Desk House. Now, I'm gonna keep it honest. This is what we do, we keep it honest here, okay? I'm an affiliate with every single one of these brands. I'm an, I'm an affiliate of Fully, now I'm little know. I'm an affiliate with Desk House, I'm an affiliate with Secret Lab, I'm an affiliate with Autonomous, I'm an affiliate with all these guys, okay? And I stand to make a lot more money by promoting their desks. And I stand to make a lot less here, uh, both because the range of products in which I earn commission is small, and because if you purchase like a combo or something, I don't earn any commission whatsoever, okay? So yeah, I'm making this video because I believe in these desks, not because I stand to make a lot of money, okay? Um, please, like, uh, keep it honest here. Please don't accuse me of stuff like that. That's not, you know, that doesn't fly here. Anyways. The reason why I love these standing desks so much is because instantly you'll recognize that this has two double legs, right? All these other standing desks have a single leg. And I think a lot of the forward and back stability issue comes from that because the Apex Pro is by far the most stable desk I've ever used. And when it comes to forward and back, it's, it's rock solid, like absolutely solid. The monitor may wiggle as you're seeing on camera and that's because it's on a monitor arm. Any monitor, will, if you've got some wiggle, is going to wobble a little bit. But when it comes to back and forth, insanely rock solid. So if you're five foot eight or taller, you're looking for a really, really rock solid desk or you plan on putting a lot of weight on your desk, I highly recommend these legs. It also goes incredibly, incredibly low. The max height here is 50 inches, by the way. And then if I go ahead and lower it, you're gonna see, by the way, I'm five foot six. I'm gonna go ahead and lower it all the way down and you're going to see just how low this thing goes. In case you wanna hear what it sounds like.
This is the minimum height. It's 24.5, 24.5, 24.4 inches. And as you can see, it comes, here's my kneecap. It comes about two inches above my kneecap. This is so short that my six-year-old could probably use this as his desk if he wanted. He's not getting this desk, but you know, if he really wanted to, he could. And so if you really wanted a desk that's gonna last the entire life of a person, this is the one to go with. And then you gotta ask yourself this question, like how many standing desks do you plan to purchase in your life? The answer to that is probably one. And these standing desk legs are not cheap. And you can get the expensive legs and then get a cheap tabletop from Ikea or something. And then as you grow, as you switch uh, houses, as you, you know, grow in financial stability and all that stuff, you can change it with a nicer desktop when you're ready. That way you have legs that are gonna last you forever. And then the top you can switch out whenever you feel like. Speaking of lasting you forever, these standing desk legs have the best warranty. Desk House offers the best warranty on their standing desk compared to every other company out there. I believe Autonomous offers a seven year warranty on their desks. I think Uplift is 15 years. Fully is a little up in the air because they were acquired by Miller Knoll and now they're being sold on Miller Knoll. But Desk House offers 20 years warranty on their frames, on their products. And this is why this matters. The owner of this company, his name is Chris. He's all over social media and I really admire the guy, right? He keeps it honest just like I do. I watch his videos and I'm like, wow, uh, I can't believe he said that. <laughs> What I really appreciate about that is that he has such an online presence that if people get upset at the customer service that he's providing or that company Desk House is providing, there are avenues for people to go online and complain about it. And because he has such an online presence, like it's gonna lead to some consequences, right? It's not like a faceless company like Uplift where you can complain, it just goes down to the ether and it just goes nowhere. Like Chris is all over the forums on Reddit and things like that. And because of that, you know that if you complain, it's gonna catch his ear and it's gonna catch the ear of many other people. And being like a pretty small company, I believe he has a team of four, they're gonna pay close attention to their customers. For all these reasons, this standing desk is by far my favorite. You can use my code honestly. I believe it's honestly. I'll, I'll, I'll put it down in the description below. You can get $50 off of the frame here. If you want to go with the more budget standing desk because you fit into that five foot five, five foot eight range, where honestly you could buy any standing desk. But if you want to buy one, oh, by the way, the Desk House Apex Pro is made in America. It's made in Michigan. The, um, the Their other desk, the Detroit desk, that's like their budget version. It's about like 600 ish dollars. Uh, that's all also made in America, 20 year warranty, again, better than the competition. You guys can use the code, uh, I think it's like honestly Detroit. Again, I'll link it or put it down in the description. You can get $25 off that standing desk by using that code over there. So yeah, these are by far my stand favorite standing desk legs. I think a lot of the markup on some of these more, you know, uh, boutique standing desks that are coming out are coming because they give you a lot of like gimmicky features. Like for example, come with really great uh, cable management features built in. It comes with really cool like touch features to be able to like swipe up and down to bring the table up. The downsides of some of that stuff is like, look, cable management is something you do once and then you never do again, right? Like you, you install stuff and then you just never touch it. You're gonna pay an extra premium for those features. I, I mean, that's up to you. Like, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying these are kind of my thoughts. When it comes to the fancy schmancy built in swipe up thing, the downside of that is that you'll never be able to change your desktop. You're gonna have to swap out that entire desktop to be able to get you know, that integrated swipe up and down thing. This comes with the standard paddle. This paddle is actually really, really nice. I'm gonna not get into all of its features. You can check it out on their website, but it has things like lock. It has uh, multiple memory uh, heights, I think, believe two memory heights. It can give you alerts every you know X amount of time to remind you to stand up. It's got a whole bunch of features, really, really cool, really, really nice. Um, but yeah, you can literally change the top anytime you want, which is another added effect. So it's a pretty no frills, but the biggest thing for me is that you want stability because at the end of the day, stability is the thing that you need most because you're gonna be standing with it, right? And because of that, you need that stability. That is the most important thing. Cable management, gimmicks, cool tips and tr like cool tricks that it can do. Those are all secondary. Like those things, if you wanna pay for it, great. But I highly recommend, highly urge you find something that's stable. Even if it's not the Apex Pro, find something that is stable. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Until next time, stay safe and as always, Stay honest.